Okay, guys, we're picking right where we left off on Yakuza Kiwami. Uh, I literally just stood here for a second while I took a quick break. Uh, but we do need to go to Shellac to uh, check out the guy that Saya is um, having issues with. Saya is Date's daughter, apparently. Uh, we also have a wooden katana, so we can talk to this guy and do his training real quick. Um, I'm also going to learn the extra health, like I said I would, and then we're going to start making our way over to the the extra um, damage. So we're going to talk to the, well, we're going to equip the sword, we're going to talk to this guy, and then we're going to go in and see if uh, Man with Big Head is wanting to join the Colosseum. Okay, he said the same thing. Uh. Yeah, I've got it right here. Oh, was it much trouble to procure it? If you're ready, let us begin. All right, Kiryu, this time I shall teach you the basics of the basics, the art of Komaki swordsmanship. I thought he said that his stuff was all bare, barehanded. Mm -hmm. Wait up, I thought the Komaki style was an unarmed martial arts school. Why would I need a wooden sword in a fist fight? See? Kiryu reads my mind. Sayo. Aye, unarmed combat is indeed fi a vital aspect of our style, but let me ask you, why do you think pr practitioners of our school fight with our bare hands? <clears throat> it's important to win without relying on weapons, and because you want your fists to be your strongest weapon? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, such a modern sentiment. Even the strongest man would perish before a gun. Can you truly be the strongest by mastering your fists alone? By that logic, all martial arts would have no meaning. That is true as well. From ancient times, man has used tools to fight. Weaponless combat is not the way of civilization. But old western armies trained hand-to-hand -hand combat too, in a world where iron weapons were developed. Why? To continue to fight. Even if their swords shattered or their quiver was emptied of arrows, a man's fists are not his strongest weapons, but they're the last weapons he has. Guess that makes sense. Founder of the Komaki style school followed suit with other styles and started with sword fighting techniques. That sword play still exists and is taught to this day. So in order to master the Komaki style, you must first learn you first need to learn the basics of swordsmanship. Only from there can you be taught to train the body, your final weapon. I see your point. Let's go. I will teach you the Komaki style basics. Draw your sword. Now, Kiryu, I've taught you the form. Try attacking me with a Komaki slash attack. This is a form of swordsmanship in Komaki style. Your attack will have more power when using a katana. Komaki swordsmanship is a bladed combat style passed down from the Edo period. The form's improved stance increases the damage dealt by steel blades and wooden swords alike. Attack Komaki 20 times using square or, or triangle. Okay, so that's circles like a guard brag. That's kind of neat. I want an infinite sword. Prodigious! Make sure to remember the Kamaki style basics. Yeah, got it. We'll progress to more intensive training, but first, bring me proof of your progress to receive your next lesson. Tis a prize from the arena called the Image of an Asura. Mm. The Image of an Asura. So, what is my next training session going to be? Punching a picture of a Hindu spirit? So what? Is my next training session going to be punching a picture of a Hindu spirit? There we go. Yeah. No, it's really not. It's not really that. I just need the picture. Mm. I don't understand. Well, the Komaki School has a partnership with the Coliseum. I offered my treasured pictures as prizes on the condition that those who brought them to me could become my students. But no one brought any? Soldier. Just so. I have been watching the registration area, but no one has expressed any interest in becoming my student. And there were such va valuable paintings, too. If you want them back, just take them off the prize list. 
I could never take back something offered. Such shameful dealings are far beneath me. I have my pride too, you know. Mm -hmm. So you want me to go collect your old pictures by winning? Still think it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You know nothing. Winning back those pictures in the arena serves as proof you trained by fighting those warriors. Why can't you understand this is for your own good? <laughs> and if you, as my student, make a name in the Coliseum, the contestants who lose to you may seek training from me. This is crucial for the f future of the Kamaki School. <sighs> Sounds like it's only for your benefit. Nevertheless, this is all part of your training. You must bring me the image of an Asura to prove your true metal. Now go out there and continue your training. Okay. Yeah. We know that. Okay, so we got that. Which is cool. We're in dragon style. For some reason. I guess Kamaki style is part of dragon style. We're gonna save um, real quick, and then we're gonna go to the Coliseum because I think that's where uh, Man with the Big Head wants to go. I can't think of his name. It's so bad that they called him that. So we'll check that real quick. I don't intend to actually fight in the Coliseum because we do need to go back on the main story. Shinohara is his name. Where are we? An underground arena. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here, day in and day out. It's a different kind of combative sport. A combative sporting event, you say? Uh. The type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You amazed me to no end, Kiryu-san. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I ever made. Men. Huh? <laughs> this is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I think this will be the kind of excitement I was craving. <laughs> that sounds like you're willing to give it a go. Hey. Yes, I'm going to go in it right now. <laughs> All right. Amazing, you won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena are barely a warm-up for you, huh? Yeah. No, everyone was really strong. I couldn't say I won any of those matches with ease. Mm. Really? Then why do you still look so dissatisfied? How observant of you, Kiryu-san. You're right. I'm not satisfied yet. <sighs> not even the fighters here could give me the experience and excitement I seek. Mm. I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me satisfaction. Ooh. And that man is... <laughs> you, Kiryu-san. What? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk and the card in between these seats. You moved like a dragon. It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. <laughs> heh. <laughs> so you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Hey. Yes, would you do me the honor? Uh. Of course, I accept your challenge. Giraffe Stag Beetle. Yeah. Hey. Okay, we'll do his stuff uh, when we come back to do some Coliseum stuff. But for now, we're going to run to... Uh, Shellac? Is that the name of the bar where, um, Saya's boyfriend is? We think Saya's in trouble. She was, uh, into some shady stuff, and her friend says that she thinks she's in trouble, so we're going there, one, to meet her boyfriend and see if he's a scumbag like we think he is, and two, uh, to, to find out if there's something we can do to help. So we'll see if that works. And Shellac's not too far from here. 
It's in the Champion District, which is just kind of like south, maybe a little bit west of here. I don't recall exactly, but it's close. Yeah, it's like directly south. All these punks always want to fight me. Always fighting in the streets. Is this the guy? Yeah, I'm a friend. そうだな。一つゲームをしよう。うちで一番高いものを当ててみな。I've Oh, so I'm just going to guess. I'm going to guess the older one. I have literally no clue. Stardust? Shoda. Shoda at Stardust. He's a host. We've been to Stardust a bunch of times. We even fought with some of them, like alongside some of them. I was way back in like episode two or something. Yo. 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 Killed him in dragon style just because I could. Okay, we're going to Stardust. So back towards the main part. We've got to get around Millennium Tower, kinda. I kinda know where we're going, which is very rare for me. We're like almost there, it looks like. Oh no, that's the wrong exclamation point. What is this little area? This little back area? Oh, okay. I suppose we can fight. Oh, this is Club Sega. I went, I didn't go far enough. Almost there. Which one of you guys has showed up? You here alone today, Kiryu san? Yeah, I think a girl I know is inside. I see, let me clear a table for you. No, it's okay, I can see myself, but thanks anyway. I'd like to go in, is that okay? Hey, aren't you, aren't you here with someone? 
Who do you think I am? Well, you sure don't look like a woman. We're a host club, not a bar to pick up chicks at, so you can't come in alone. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? This gentleman is a friend of the owner. If you're trying to be useful, go swing some drinks by, the la by these ladies. Oh, I had no idea. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Kazuki here? Oh, hi, Kiryu-san. Long time no see. Kazuki-san is away at the moment. He should be back in about an hour or so. We don't need to talk to Kazuki. Kiryu-san, are you here? Are you here? No. Shota is here. Yes, Shota is here. Hey, punk, do I need to beat the crap out of you? あそこにいるのがそうです。あ、どうぞ。あの、お客さん困ります。東京。翔太、大丈夫？翔太、お前こんなとこで。こんなとこで？何よ、今更父親面今日だって約束すっぽかしたくせにそれはお父さんはいつもそうあったって何も言ってくれないしつまらなそうにしてそのくせこんな時だけ父を破るさやちゃん帰るねさやちゃん I have a wooden sword and I'm not afraid to use it. Just talk. Oh, ホストクラブ通い詰めて借金まみで。借りた金返さないって言うから体で稼いでもらおうってわけ。今度ビデオでデビューするからよ。おっさんも買ってくれや。やろう。お父さん。キリュ。I want to beat these guys up anyway. I kind of wanted to disarm this guy, but I don't know that I can. We'll just take out his little guys one by one. so far. I'm gonna have to drop a heal here in a second. Yeah, I need to hit a heal. I'm gonna do eat takeout if I can. 
Mm, very good. Take him out. Get back up. <laughs> what a anticlimactic way to take him out. Good question. Do you suppose Shotokun will be alright? You're worried about him? Quite. I believe Shotokun is being threatened. Threatened? Mm. I think he borrowed money for that Saya girl, and now he's being harassed by debt collectors as a result. Oh, do you work at this club too? No, I'm... Ooh, you must be a host. Hey, hey, what's your name? You got the wrong idea. I have to go. Wow, Saya's father was a badass. Yeah. He kind of reminded me of my dad back in the country. wonder how Pops is doing now. Are they going to close the club? Yeah, probably. Jeez, Stardust is a great place, but there's always so much drama here. And yet, I still come. Are you part of the staff here? What? What's going on? There are multiple people asking for Shota, so I haven't gotten any time with him at all. I'm terribly sorry. Don't just apologize. Do something about it. Shota, I don't want it. If it's not Shota, I don't want it. I won't come back here ever again. I understand. I'll talk to the owner. Hey, here he is. Sorry, ちょっと店を開けてる最中にこんなことになるなんて。いや、いいんだ。それより伊達さんが心配だ。まさかさやちゃんが店に付けがあるなんて。翔太の番数もそれが理由だったんですね。番数？あ、ホストが店に金借り
変なことに巻き込まれてないといいんですが桐生さん翔太が言ったの町金から借りた店のつけすぐ返さないとまずいからどうにかして金作れっていつからそんなことを本当は初めてだったのでも来週までにお金を用意できなかったら翔太殺されるかもって言うからてめえの命惜しくて自分の女に何とかしろってのが本当にお前を大事にしてるならそんなこと言えるわけがないでも私には翔太しかいないから伊達さんならお前を守ろうとする自分がどんな目に遭わされようともなお前のことを一番大事に思ってるのは翔太じゃない伊達さんだ It's true. ねえ桐生さん私お父さんが心配その町金の場所わかるかピンク通りの花形ビルそこがあいつらの事務所なの行くぞさやお前も一緒に来るんだ OK then is she voiced by Miyuki Sawashiro? Seems like it Sorry. Okay, we need to go. It's east? I was thinking it was gonna be north. <laughs> Figured I'd have to fight these guys anyway. Grab a heal or eat some food or something. <laughs> what didn't look good? Um, who are you? Sorry to bother you, so what didn't look good? Oh, not long ago, there was an old guy in a trench coat being dragged away by some scary looking men. A trench coat? That must be. Did they do anything to him? Ew, why do you keep talking to me? <laughs> Sorry, just ignore him. So did they do anything to him? Well, I wouldn't say they dragged him out, just made sure he wouldn't escape and walked him toward Pink Street. Must be the Hanagata building. Building. Thanks, that helps a lot. My dad must be in the Hanagata building on Pink Street. Yeah, we kind of knew that, but it's food time. Oh, well, I wanted for here, but I'll take one to go and one for here then. For here. We want teriyaki smile burger combo. Oh. We've got some health back. She's like, we've got to rescue my dad. And I'm like, we've got to have health. Okay, there's a convenience store right over here. What was that about, Shoda? Whoa, you scared me. What in the heck do you want? Didn't you say something about Shoda? Sure I did. What of it? You mean Shoda from Stardust, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Well, what about him? Oh, when he clocks out, he usually goes out with one of his customers. It's rare to see him walking alone. So you saw Shota by himself? Yep, he was on his phone and walking toward Pink Street. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. 
Okay, gotta fight these guys. Okay, goons. to the face. Yeah, just chill. Chill. Gotta heal. Three. Now we can head that way. Okay, we're almost there, kinda. Except I keep going in the wrong direction and keep fighting dudes. そやの親父さんなら金払ってよ。そしたらビデオの話は忘れてやるよ。いくらなんだ店の付けが<笑> さつか。へえ、4か。丸棒じゃねえか。マジか。やべえじゃねえかよ。まあ、待てよ。お父さんさ、丸棒だったら押収した拳銃とか山ほどあんだろ。何？そいつを回してくれたら鞘の借金チャ
take some of these guys out. Seventy-six。seventy-six。skill ができたな、キリュ。いや、ちゃんがおでダーモン。お父さん。普通の女子高生なんだな。そうしてると。やだ。ジロジロ見ないでよ。お父さん。さや。俺はダメな親父だ。<笑> Slap. お母さんとお前から逃げ出しただからお前に何も言えたぎりじゃないと分かってるでもなそれでも一つだけ約束してくれないか自分をもっと大切にしてくれさえが幸せになるためにもっと自分自身を愛してくれそれでもお前が苦
this Haruka? Are they saying that we kidnapped Haruka? Yeah, we'll save. Sins of the Father. Oh, did we finish the chapter? That's cool. It seems like it's been a while since we've done that. Lots of side quests. Lots of side quests. Shiki. So no yosuja Kashiwagi ni Nakuma de Okorita de Ganjiana Shimano no Ujiki Kita de Odore no Kobuni te Aitoruyo ya no Nishiaba. せっかく風間のお屋さんに色々と便宜を図ってもらったってのに俺が不甲斐ないせいでやっぱりわしが思ってた通りや風間中男もえげつないことをやるよるのどういうことです本気でお前を大事に育てる<笑> え、ラブはずないやろ。まあ、嫌な思い散々させて、お前が値上げるのを待っとるんやろな。なんかそう。これだけは覚えとけ。風間はな、気流に組を持たせたいだけや。<笑> キリュウのやったことは絶対許されん。せやけどな。皮肉なもんやが、キリュウの評判はすこぶれで。まあ、大物やったちゅうのは、それなりの貫禄がつくもんや。シャバに出たときは、もうお前には手の届かんところに Man. This guy is super manipulative. Kanlokseitskiya, Chapter 7, The Dragon and the Koi. Oh, Kiryu. Koi tsu amite kure. Kore wa? Kesa, Tokyo wa ni agatta onna no sui shitai da. Kono iretsumi. Oh no.死因は頭部座礁及び出血多量による触手。死体はコンクリートの重しをつけられて沈んでいた。かなりの拷問を受けている。水木なのか。なんとも言えんが、ただこの入れ墨、水木の入れてた模様と一緒なんじゃないのか
Okay, so we need to find out. Agreed. Go to Ryo Ryujin Hall. You get, you got Mizuki's photo. Well, we don't know that it's Mizuki, but sure. You got it. Okay, well, I mean, we've got some stuff we can do. Uh, do we want to go straight there? I know we've been kind of in a roll, on a roll of doing story stuff should we take a should we take a break and do some side quest stuff and if so what which side quest should we do oh i thought we had used some heals but i guess not is it christmas got some christmas music going on Oh, we can upgrade abilities. Let's do that. Uh, let's get the... We're going for damage. Extra quick step. Boost attack. Yes, absolutely. Okay, those cost a billion. So, are we ever going to get to a new... Like, when's the next attack? Health. So, there's one way down there. That's going to be a billion. And one way over here, which is going to be another bunch. So, we've got a bunch of skills there. Tech. Was there anything in tech that we need? I mean, I've mostly been using... Brawler. Stick mastery. I'm not feeling any of those. Last minute of aid. Wrath. Face twisting. Heat gauge plus two is not bad. Let's get last minute evade. That sounds like something we could actually use. Let's get wrath because that sounds like something that'll just happen. Stunned enemies. Okay, last ditch effort, we'll grab. Fighting spirit's actually pretty good. Let's go for that real quick. Let's go ahead and get this three one that we missed. I know we don't stun people much. We have, we've seen it before though, it's happened. Now let's clear out some of these threes. Um, oh, running uppercut. Faint punch. Guarded weapon charge or definitely knockdown grab. I tried to do that so many times. Okay, so we've done that. What can we do in the meantime? We got a couple of new items for our slot car, but our pocket circuit fighter thing, whatever they call them. Uh, let's go help this guy out. Okay. 
that guy and he had a knife. Oh, I dodged into him. That was my bad. That rush style is kind of hard to combat. Iron plate. There's a, we could do Club Sega. We could try to do the crane game. What did he want? Do we remember? Woofom. Okay, what's in there now? What are these? What are these? Let's grab one. Oh. He looks so surprised. Hmm. He's too round. Can I knock him in there? No, I got caught on this path. I need to get further back. No, I didn't get far enough. I'm gonna hit his hat again. Oh, I got him. Oh, are you kidding me? Like, what do I do about that? Like, what do you even do about that? That was a terrible left. Oh, well, I just straight up got him by knocking him off. What is this guy? Kara Kappa. Kappa. Okay. Oh, well, let's try to get this Kappa too. Maybe he can knock the guy in front down. No. That was bad. I should be able to, like, punch the machine. It's a bad one. But I will knock him over a little bit, I think. No. I'm gonna put another one in and I'm gonna try to grab the guy at the bot at the very bottom. Can I hit him from here? Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I just have to go a little bit further back. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna get this guy. This is insane. What's he hanging on to? He's literally not hanging. Okay, there we go. Finally. What is he? He's a Kyonbo. Okay, he is not a Wu fan. So we need to change it out. Hey, you guys are totally cheating.
I wish it would give me like a visual representation of what, what each one is. Like this might be Wu Fam. I could see this being Wu Fam. Oh my gosh. I'm the master. Yep, Woo Mama. I think I'll hit his top hat on accident here. Oh, that was a bad one. That was unfortunate. I had almost the exact same problem with this guy. I don't know how I'm still hold on, held on to him. So I got Woo Papa. Yeah. So now we need Woo Baby, I guess. Is that this little blue guy? Okay, is this the Wu family? Oh, I guess I still have to play, huh? Oh, that was real bad. Let's see what happens. Let's try to... Oh, I didn't go far enough back. I was going to try to go for the tail. Oh my gosh. She's the easiest to get, apparently. We don't need a second one of her. And then we'll try to get this guy on the ground. Because there's, I think there's literally no way we could ever do that. Oh my gosh. Masterfully done. They knew that I had him pinned for cheating. So they let me have that one. You. Are you about to give me the entire Wu Fam series? I'll repay you immensely for this. I have those stuffed animals. Uh -huh. Really, please, I'm begging you. Please give me that set. <clears throat> yeah, that's why we did it. These are the ones you were looking for, right? Oh my gosh, thank you, Kiryu san. Really, thank you. <clears throat> No problem. Is it really that important to you? I know this isn't much, but please take it. 30,000. <laughs> hey, thanks to this, I'm going to have a ha happy ending tonight. I'll let you know if I need something else. Bye, Kiryu-san. Okay, well, we did that one. Let's do a quick Mesu King. Battle. Well, I want to battle with new opponents, Professor. Oh, you're getting pretty confident. There's this boy who recently started playing Mesa King. Hey, Tomohiro-kun. Oh, it's just you, mister. Tomohiro-kun, don't be rude. Mesa King is supposed to be fun. Okay, not like you stand a chance against me, though. Seem pretty sure of yourself. <laughs> of course, why wouldn't I be? You, you'll fall prey to my super finishing attack, the Kestrel Punch. Well, I wish I knew what button that was on, and I'd know that that's what he'd go for. So I have new cards, right? Do they do good stuff? Like, bigger health is probably good, right? So she's good. 
they're equal. Giraffe stag beetle seems outstanding. So she's she's more about scissors. Okay. So our punch will be um Triangle is less compatible, circle is very compatible, so we want compatible on left. So this tornado back fist is good. This cartwheel kick is good. So either of these is good. If at first you miss, hammer them with a spinning fist. Or... Sweep the leg, then rain down fury with a car wheel. Let's do that. Okay, Omni Choke we know is good for her because she has... That's her super attack. So we should probably just do that, right? And then... Body Slam's good with her. Taunt is good, but it's not a move. Mystic Heal's good, it's not a move. Body Slam it is. Yep. I don't remember, I mean, this is... Okay. Omni Choke is her super attack. So, Rock is her super attack. So we're gonna guess that she's gonna go for Rock most of the time. Right, so we'll mostly go for Paper. Body slam. Is he just gonna do it again? Yeah, owned. Totally owned. Take it, kid. Darn, how did I lose? Even with a really good skill, when you put your strategy so out in the open, you become predictable. Oh, you realized it, mister? What? What did he realize about me? Listen, Tomohiro, you... Only use skills you find easy to understand. Huh? Even though it's a powerful skill, if you choose the same one all the time, people can see through your plan. You should think about where your next move is when you play. I, I didn't know. I always just pick my strongest card. Mm-hmm. Tomohiro-kun focuses on the super finishing attack, so much that his moves lean towards one choice. But unless you win the rock, paper, scissors, you can't use your super finishing attack. It doesn't matter how strong a card is if you waste it with no strategy. Hey, Tomohiro-kun, don't be so disappointed. If you think out your moves next time, you'll get even better in no time. Oh, yeah, okay. Mr. Messaking players tend to have certain habits you can pick up on while they choose their next move. If you can fight while reading your opponent's moves like you did earlier, you'll become an amazing Messaking player. Heh, <laughs> I think I'm starting to see this game's true depth. Mr. Mr. Messu King, thanks for today. Next time we battle, I won't lose. Next time, yeah, I'd like that, but I won't be losing. <laughs> You're both totally fired up. 
Mister, here's a gift for winning your first Mesa King fight. Giant swing. Thanks for giving me another free card. Don't worry, it's another dupe. Besides, it's more fun if everyone keeps getting better cards. I'm the master of Mesa King. Hmm? Oh, it's this guy again. Looked like he's trying to get something new. Hey, you're going at this pretty hard again. Whoa. Oh, Kiryu-san, thanks for all your help. So did the supposed daughters of your daughter of yours ask for another toy? <laughs> <laughs> yep. This time it's the Jumbo Chestnut. Many. Jumbo Chestnut? Hey. That's the one. It's a stuffed animal of a blue squirrel. Only it's Jumbo-sized. You don't say. So, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Think I know what's coming next. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, Kiryu-san. If you have the Jumbo Chestnut, could you please give it to me? I knew it. I mean, I'll pay you for it, of course. Sorry, I don't have that one. Aw, oh, really? Um, what am I supposed to do? Man. Look at this horse lady just backhanding her kid. It's crazy. Yep, we've got to go talk to Udabori. Sorry, I was taking a note. Um, I don't think we want to do that right this second. So we're at... We're at what? Like an hour seven-ish? Um, so let's save, and we'll call that here. Uh, we got some story stuff done. We got some side quest stuff done. I don't know what we'll do next time. Uh, we have some some side quest stuff we need to get done, like uh, fighting in the Colosseum. Uh, but we'll see. Because uh, I, I am enjoying the story. I do feel like we did a lot of it this this and maybe last episode. I don't recall. It kind of runs together while I'm recording. Uh, but again, thanks, thanks so much for hanging out with me uh, as these punks try to get me. Uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode.